what's official and what we know. And uh, that is what you just heard. Hope that solves all the issues. We're going to be going into game six on Miramar, the last one for tonight. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Get a bit of a special plane for our last one. Start central on the east, goes extremely far to the north. Uh, it's going to be tricky uh, for Ding to reach towards Valle del Mar. I'm not sure what they will do. I uh, could have expected them to go towards Campo Militar or something uh, along those lines, but doesn't look like it. I'm going to wait till the end of the plane. They could easily take a Tropic split here if they wanted to, since Tropic can easily reach to Los Leones. They've got plenty of options, and they will choose one of those. And it's looking like we've got a fairly, fairly quiet early game. Uh, coming at us, it's going to be Alan Oil and Puerto. It's going to be Impala taken by Wuptrox Hall of Game going towards the south of Los Leones. Really not anything surprising right there. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten any roster moves. Any of the big ones, any of the huge teams that everyone's looking at. And of course there is a lot more roster moves than that, but that compound... Oh, but DA is in trouble. They won the last game. Now they're going for drive by right next to Jacob Fierro. Layers is there to trade as well. Sheila caught in the open, instantly nailed by the M4 spray. With is the second one to fall, and Doxus is one HP. If Layers just peeks on over, that is three kills for him. But obviously, he does not quite know how low that player is. Jacob Fierro takes honest, tries to bait it out for his teammate. I think Layers might have gotten the first hit off at this point. He's going to step on over. No, he doesn't. He didn't have time to heal. Now, surely, surely getting caught from the back lines. It's Mercurial who does the damage as she created, trying to get the smoke in witless. Last one up for his squad. I say last one up, it's a complete lie. Sammy Toxic still far, far away from this. That nade, that might get two flushes. That does get two flushes. Puts Dogsers down to 40 HP as well. There's still a res to be had, but look at she created. Look at his off angle. He spots out that player as well. They spot each other. Know exactly what's happening. Dogsers charges off the top, takes honest, and loses out. Down to just she created. He's trying to get the nade around the building. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna have any effect. And you can tell the stress of that fight. It's constant pressure from afar coming in. Sammy Toxic over the shoulder of his teammates. Mercurial from the sides. It's a nice spam. From she created. It's not going to do the trick in a second. Fortlessly definitely being heard at this point, but the longer this push takes, the more chance for Unique to turn around and realize things might be up. Fortlessly, though, oh, he sees them last second. And Vavrid stops the spray. He thinks the player's dead. He deals good damage to both of them, but he doesn't get a single one. Footfoot's still waiting for his opportunity. And as I say, he doesn't get a single one. It's Svetlana from the back lines. Gets one onto Unique, it's more damage dealt as well. It's Liquid spoiling the party for Unique. Vavorit gets the flush onto a doozy, it looks like. Flush not as easy as the knock, and now Footfoot -foot might have the go signal. Spots Faultlessly on the rock, but no he doesn't. Faultlessly spots him though, Vavorit calls it out for him. Finally the AK spray rings out, Footfoot -foot needs to find a head, and Faultlessly is just a little bit quicker. Dante from the side has something to say about this as well, and... It's just Wuptrox falling by the wayside. It's not a whole lot of HP left on the entirety of Unique. It's just enough to clean things up in the end. Just Team Liquid position themselves. Try and gatekeep them out of this. No, he wants a piece of this. He's got Svetlana on the high ground. They got all the information that they need. Svetlana's just waiting for Dante to step into the open. There it is. Players in the open. Shots are fired. Too many tags connect. Next, he gets taken down quite low. There's more and more covering fire. And look at the damage being pinged out from Svetlana. She is definitely cracked with the mini. Whoever she is. Wait now. Trying to make it in. That nade deals good damage by Mexi. <laughs> Sends him right back out the door. And now Mexi might have a chance to pick that one up. Here's the steps. No, as the player's behind the wall. That should be... Be a very possible nade if he jumps it. Oh, that looks brilliant from Mexi. 60 damage over the top. 
Clip from the side, knows exactly where that player is. The flashbang's coming as well. And this is Mexi picking up that one. This is unique. Completely getting ruined by Flip in their car. And it's an absolute disaster for them. Clip styles on them as well through the smoke. Doesn't matter. Picks it up in the end. Hall of game. Looks like they're dealing with Entropic quite successfully. But they've got Rise and Wind right next to them. They've got Justice on top. Justice have decided to take the IADR farm instead of the winning position. I'm not saying they could have taken the winning position, but you'd never see a team winning from up here. Uh, they always end up losing out on players. But that is Entropic gone, that is Unique gone, that is 10 teams left in the lobby. First phase and EB are still holding on. Can't blame Ding for not pushing up, quite honestly, quite frankly. I wouldn't be pushing in a shotgun, I wouldn't be vaulting in a window though, and that is... Besto has just done. It's going to be Nixie picking up a freebie. Sale coming around the side. Instantly eliminated by Fuzzface. They pounce on the opportunity when they can. Pick up a nice little kill for themselves. Two for Mercurial. Three for Sakura Z. And this... And with these smokes coming out, Jimbo will have a very good idea. Oh, this angle. It's dirty. It's going for one one further up as well. Mexi's gonna give him the information. Jimbo should be able to line some of them up. He might be a little bit too late, but no, there it is. Damage dealt. Rise and win. Are the ones who take the knock for that nade from Jimbo. That should be the nail in the coffin. They bounce around perfectly. Jani has absolutely nowhere to go. There was more there to confirm it if needed. It wasn't needed at all. It's gonna be Enterprise. Swiftly eliminated as Rise and win. Team Liquid combined there a little bit. Mexi spotted on the crossfire. Can't even really say caught on the crossfire. There's not that much damage dealt. And now Halamaybad has decided to step up and he nails Jimbo behind the truck. He's not quite in the zone. The zone is not moving all too fast, but they will have to smoke. And it's another situation where the high ground is absolutely dominating the low ground. Smoke should be possible. It's not quite as bad because there is a truck in the way, but that carry is not going to work out. And say the carry won't work out should be visible but hello my bad ping down to low hp and that is really all they can do when the player has so much high ground on you is just try to take them down try to send them packing it's gonna be time for another shift another burning green moment Brennan Green wants to see more Team Liquid. He wants to see more Vanilla creeping into the zone, rotating around, being smart, and he wants to see more Team Liquid taking fight with the Grows as the Cruel Z. It's going to be tasked holding out Vanilla. Buzz and EB still in the same building. Arctix has now made his way down. And Team Liquid are making the push. They're making the cross. They're going next building. They're going next door. Oh, and that's Arctic taking a lot of damage. Oh no, that's not even the first player that dies from fall in this game. You hate to see it. Team Liquid not reacting. Sakura Sense and losing one on the cross. Salty. It's a little bit overzealous. Wants to push over to fight Vanir and instantly cleared out by EB. Not really want to, what you want to be seeing. Especially in a city circle where manpower really is everything. You can pretty much fight your way through everything. You have the manpower for it. And you can see Halamaya Bad on top. I'm not sure if he's even considering the res. I'm not sure if he even could. He's going for it now. Man, is that a scary run? I don't think he's doing it. I don't think he's doing it in time. It doesn't matter. It's too slow. It's too late. Artix just continues on bleeding. There is a jump to be made here that could save him a lot of time. And I think that would have been the play right there and then, but actually not all that much time saved. I'm not quite not quite correct on that one. I think he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it with about 
three HP left. So it's actually no big deal at all. It's two. <laughs> Team Liquid, meanwhile. <laughs> while we're watching a res, Team Liquid is clearing out Rise and Win. The shotgun doesn't help. Grows and the M4 get one each. And well, they're racking them up. They're gaining one by one on their tally. Looking for more. Ten kills and counting. Still four man strong. A few dents in the armor. Let's see. Jimbo's vest has gotten a little bit red. Nothing that would stop you in the long run. Novik and the rest of Sakura Sensen are holding the south. We've got Fuzz and EB. We've got the toxic players once again. Staying quiet. And I say they're staying quiet. They really aren't. They're picking up all the frags. They've got five kills already. We haven't talked about them all too much. They picked up four in the early game on a DA. They are going to pose a little bit of a threat here to Sakura Z whenever they want to move. It's it's not pretty right now for the toxic players, especially if Hollow My Bad wants to peek on over. But that knock tells me that Team Liquid is going to be mighty busy in just a few seconds. Reload. Can't even get a res on his teammate. Jimbo nails the head. The utility folds it up. He's set on fire. He's barely even going to get out of this Molotov. He's going to take almost all the damage needed from this. When that shot from Novi could have sealed the deal. Now Team Liquid are charging through the smoke. They're going to be flying around the corners. But they're instantly going for the top floor. They're not expecting anyone on the bottom right now. And now they're getting caught from the outside. This could be a disaster. Clip. Oh, he doesn't win it out, but Hello My Bad does it for him. And Milo has a chance now. Here's Clip on the outside. James, excuse me. Let's James run it. Oh, and gets turned on by the three gear and the Grozer. Jim gets absolutely saved by his armor and claps him down. Leosh and Sammy Toxic are just two men standing right next to the full team Liquid once again. And they just seem absolutely unstoppable. Hello, my bad. I said he was biding his time, and he was. He was taking it slow. He was making sure to not get flushed out early. And now is the time for him to farm. And look at that. That nade might be beautiful. Oh, it's just barely over the shoulders. The mini damage was there. The liquid helping out as well. Artix finds one onto Jeems. Surely they can get one more nade in. Can they get the res on Jeems? The circle is moving. Might have to carry him a little bit, but I think this is barely just fine on the edge. They will get the res. Jimbo will. Because they have to move out of the building. The pressure is just mounting for Team Liquid right now. Clip taken out to low HP. Svadana wants to get some molly th through the windows. Get set on fire himself. It's just so many teams piling on in. The south, the fight has kicked off on the south. Semi Toxic is burning alive. He should be just fallen by the wayside here. 10 HP is all he's got left. There's the molly cleaning him up. Three alive for Liquid. Two. For Sakura Z, they have lost Norvik in the process. he and Nixie, they're trying to do it all. Fuzzface coming around the smoke, gets almost caught in the process. He's going to look to get the first hit off, but Nixie is hunting him down. And that's, again, Liquid coming in from the side. It's a disaster. It's Fuzzface with the shoddy. And Clip with the flush. Three versus one for Fuzzface. As he gets the shotgun out, he gets one that he should have never gotten. And it's the jump shot with him from Nixie. The jumping shotgun versus the shotgun tempo. I'm I'm losing my mind. I'm done. I'm cooked. I'm out. It's 18 kills for Liquid. Five for Mercurial and three for in third place for Sakura Z. Fuzz coming in big with the shotgun towards the end. And oh my. What a night of scrims. What a night of scrims. Entropic at seven, toxic players.